Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to center one object to another object in Photoshop. Okay, currently I have a document open in Photoshop. I have two objects. I have a circle and a square. And so I uh, received this uh, question in a comment and I just wanted to make a video of it here. And they were asking, how can I center an object to another object? that's not necessarily in the center of the canvas or the center of your artboard. I want to make this circle centered to this square here. So to do that, what you're going to do, so we're going to center the circle on the square. You're going to want to uh, select this layer, but you need to actually make a selection of it. So currently I have my layer selected but I actually need to uh, select the pixels of this layer. And to do that, you are going to command or control click on the thumbnail of that layer here. And then what you'll notice is you'll see those kind of marching um, selection here. And then to uh, center the circle to this uh, square here, I'm going to now select my circle layer. You want to make sure you have your move tool selected here, which brings up these align tools. So if we want to uh, center it uh, horizontally here and then center it vertically, we can now get it aligned to our square. And then at the end, you'll just want to add deselect those pixels. So you'll go command or control D and then you'll get rid of that selection there. Uh, the next example I want to give is if you have text that you want to align to a shape. So let's go ahead and draw out a rectangle here using the rectangle shape tool. And then I'm just going to hit D on the keyboard to get my default colors here. And then just drawing out a rectangle here. Just using the move tool, we'll just kind of move it here. Uh, let's go ahead and draw out some text. So I'm going to access my uh, text tool here. If you already have a layer selected and then you go ahead and um, use the text tool, you'll see uh, this icon here, which means if you um, start creating a text layer, um, the text box will take on the, sh um, the size of that shape. So let's just type out hello here. We'll accept that here. And what we notice is that our text here is in the uh, top of that box and we actually want it in the center. So if we uh, did it the same like we did before, we select our rectangle, we're going to click on that thumbnail command or control click, which will select it and then we hit this uh, text layer and then we access the move tool to align it both vertically and horizontally and nothing happened. That, that did not change the orientation of the actual text. We actually have to change uh, what's called the uh, baseline shift. So this setting here is in the characters panel. I have it here on the side here. If you do not have yours open, you're going to go to window and select a character here. So it's this icon here. If you hover over it, it will say set baseline shift. And so um, let's go ahead, before we do that, let's go ahead and deselect these pixels. So command and control D to just deselect it. We're making sure we're on our text layer. Clicking in to add this baseline shift. I need to um, move it down. So I'm going to hit the down arrow key on my keyboard and that is going to cause it to go down. So you'll just want to position it um, in the center here. And so that will give us our value there. And now we have it centered on our rectangle. Uh, so text is a little bit different. If you want to center it on another layer, you have to make an adjustment to uh, that baseline shift for uh, that text layer to align it to an object. Thank you for watching this video on how to center a object on another object in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.